sports, of course, it's huge. Sports analytics last year, the market valued over 1.1 billion and climbing over 31% per year. It's fantastic growth and there's a lot more to come. You know, when I played in the mid 90s, um, uh, mid 80s, there was not a lot of sports analytics. You know, later on, you know, we saw this movie uh, with baseball and they were dealing with sports analytics. And that kind of sort of set the tone a little pre-movie afterwards. Now analytics is big data. It's all through sports. Can you talk a little bit more specifically about what you see as far as analytics in the sports industry? I think a lot of analytics started with statistics, right? Just the data, what's happening. It's what's happened in the past. And I think if we fast forward to today, that's really evolved to predictive analytics. It's evolved into augmented reality and visualization and animation rather than just looking at data after the fact. It's always fun to hear sports stats and understand how a player or how a team has done, but it's more interesting when there's real-time stats on almost every aspect of any game in any sport. So as I mentioned, we like to start from the big picture, what's happening. Um, Here we can see the top 10 companies. So in just a few minutes, you're going to have a taste of what's happening, who's investing, and what their stake is. Some of the companies you recognize easily, Disney, who acquired Mm -hmm. ESPN. SMT Sports Media Technologies is number two in terms of patent applications and issued patents in the U.S. WinView. Blast motion, Nike's rounding out our top five, but you see about half the investment of Disney. Disney's made acquisitions, so you either build or buy or both. 